Welcome, welcome to What is in My Gig Bag. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a deep dive into more specialized things that I bring depending on situations and then sort of what I always bring to every show. So let's start with the case in question. It is a $10 Sterilite case and I put my tool case, my drill, I have a socket set that I put in here. Pretty much everything goes in here. So let's start off with this. This is a little amp clamp cord so I can determine how much power things draw. We got a little bit of tie line, we got a level. We have a char car charger, um, super helpful for your laptop and your phone when you're on the road. Uh, we have a set of batteries that charge for my headlamp. Hey, you know what? Before I go into all the other crap that I bring, let's talk about the stuff that I always have in my pocket. So this is the stuff that I literally use it every time I'm on a show. That is my headlamp, my earplugs, my uh, circuit, you know, is this thing live? Uh, 120 only. My little set of clippers, which I don't like the massive Letterman's. I like this tiny little one for doing zip ties and just all kinds of miscellaneous things. You know, you know what happens, just random stuff. And the most important thing that's in my pocket is E-tape. I literally use this every time I'm on a show and having it in your pocket is just so helpful to make things look clean, secure cables. Um, sometimes in a pinch, I'll use this to like put a microphone on a stand. I do a lot of really small club gigs and man, their equipment sometimes is just really not up to snuff. I've used, I've used this to like secure lightweight LED pars to like a speaker stand. I mean, that's a little bit extreme, right? But this has helped me so much to always have that in my pocket no matter the gig. All right, so stuff that I bring to almost every show. Um, let's start with this. Like, you've got to have a drill. Um, just being able to take apart things, troubleshoot things, fix things is so invaluable. And with that drill, you have to have a bit set that includes every bit, um, literally every bit. It has these uh, strange security bits that I've used once, actually, for this iPod that, or it was an iPad that was locked into a, um, a wall mounting thing, and that allowed me to access it. Um, what do we got? We got some big old pipe turning things. We have, let's see, oh yeah, those things are super useful. The vice grips and uh, the snippers, man, you use the snippers all the time. Chalk. This is excellent for marking points on a stage for your motors. I don't do that much flying with motors, um, but this can be really helpful in conjunction with uh, your tape and your laser measure. You know, for your trim height and everything else, this is like, I think everyone in the, in the bags we've seen, almost everyone has one of these because they're so useful. Uh, what else do we got? We have a soldering iron with tips, solder. We have helping hands. We got a little uh, sponge to clean off the tip. These things are super useful. I mean, like all the time I'm finding myself using these for adjusting things. Uh, what else we got? Strippers, if you're gonna do any repairs with your soldering iron, you might need strippers to fix things, cut wires, etc. Uh, a little bit of gaff tape. I usually don't bring that much. What else do we got? This is a cool little tool I use for putting truss together, for hitting it together. It's not big enough to do like a stage, for example but it is nice, it's not as loud as hitting with a hammer. Your C-Wrench, literally any stagehand should have one of these in their pockets at all times, along with all these things. You'll be so much more useful if you have all that. Scissors, these little guys come in handy for all kinds of small um, uses. Electrical stuff, you gotta have these. Uh, I recommend this Harbor Freight edition over the Home Depot one for this reason, the leads. Uh, twice as long on the Harbor Freight. Not only are they twice as long, but the uh, metal, the contact is twice as long too. It's just so much more usable. Just, I mean, it's not a bad tool, but the leads they give you are just so unusable. Here's another good little example of something I thought would be a great tool, uh, Klein Tools uh, Voltage Tester. So, let's just do a little example. Can I, can I? So there's that, and versus my Sperry now. This thing, I just prefer this. I prefer how loud it is. I prefer this um, this cool 
uh, adjuster wheel where you can actually determine the sensitivity of it. And so from like super far away, you can detect voltage. You know, I'm not even touching it. And it's like, oh, there's voltage there, it's present. I just like that you can detect that, that change that sensitivity on it because then you can actually fine tune cables that are close to each other too. So, you know, maybe you have a few cams next to each other and you, you can more precisely tell what's, what's, what's going off with this guy. All right, let's turn that guy off. What do we have next? This is like, all right, this tool is awesome and it's a little bit unreliable. It's like a cheap $20 Harbor Freight. Um, circuit detective, plug it into a circuit, hit your panel with this guy and it's gonna tell you what circuit that um, outlet is. This is super helpful for the small event spaces, uh, the gymnasiums, like all these tiny events I go to and no one knows what the power situation is. So I end up having to come there an hour early and mapping out the circuits for, you know, distributing the electrical load of the lights and the sound system, let's say for example. This is like a big, big old chunker, this CBT500, but um, honestly it has almost every cable I use. Uh, speak on, multiple XLR, BNC, RCA, there's your network. It, it's only a continuity tester, so it's not gonna like tell you that the data's okay, which sometimes, you know, you can have like a problem with your data integrity. But um, yeah, this is like almost every cable I use uh, on a daily basis. What else we got? What else we got? Um, pair of safety goggles, kind of useful. I have some Sharpies. Oh, these are kind of cool. This is, I use this for um, fog machines. So like testing and forcing fluid into a pump. Sometimes like the pumps will shut off if the fluid runs out. This is just like a handy little thing for fixing fog machines actually. Kind of a weird, weird one. Uh, a few extra levels, some all-purpose adhesive. I don't even remember what I used that for. Bunch of e-tape, you can never have enough e-tape. Uh, is there anything else that's interesting in here? Not so much. Oh, these are super useful, five bucks and your knees will thank you. Especially if you're kneeling down like a convention center doing like electrical distribution or something. Those are super helpful. Um, what else have I neglected? The gloves. Oh, gloves, kind of a no-brainer. I use these gloves specifically for um, handling hot lights, like uh, ellipsoidals or old park hands. I still do that, I still use them, so when you're focusing them, you will get, you will get burned really bad, and I've learned the hard way about getting burned, and I, you know, sometimes you accidentally brush your arm up against it while you're up there, but at least with this, you can hold on to a lamp for a little bit and not get hurt. All right, so let's go into the more specialized functions. Oh, wait, this is like a must have. A notebook with some Sharpies and a pen. This is for making notes. This is for writing out basic little diagrams and ideas. You know, you might plot a stage out with this. I don't know if I have any goofy, I have any really poorly plotted out stages with some like, uh, <laughs> Some dimensions, like I don't even, did I even draw the dimensions? No. Oh, there you go. There's some like an awful stage diagram with the dimensions, um, you know, power needs, what's available, all this kind of stuff. Just like basic things. Super helpful writing down notes about a venue. Okay, so if I'm gonna do like a small audio gig, for example, I'm not gonna bring you know, it, it is nice to have all this stuff on hand. Um, here's another cool little fun toy. Ugh. This is super useful when you go into like small clubs. Um, just a quick digital voltage readout. Um, there's been a few times where I've lost amplifiers going to little nightclubs and like plugging into a weird 240 circuit or just something crazy. And you know, I'd rather lose this little dollar meter than lose a $700 amplifier, for example. All right, so if I go do an audio gig at a club, I'm definitely gonna bring an iPod cable. I actually usually bring those anyway. I will always bring a desk light, battery powered, or you know, I have my headlamp, which um, can dim and stuff too, so that's like a last resort, but I'll try to bring that so I don't have to wear something on my head all the time. 
I'm going to like an unknown club, I'll bring a mic kit. I will bring mic stands. I'll bring DIs. I will bring a pile of XLR. Um, but yeah, it kind of de depends on the situation and like what I know and what I don't know. If I know the club has um, a kit that's pretty good, then I won't bother bringing all that extra, extra stuff and have it get lost. Um, what else do we got? If I'm doing a lighting gig, I will bring my lighting console, which is run by this MIDI keyboard and just a laptop. Uh, let's see. Uh, the laptop's not in this bag actually because it's out doing a live stream lighting setup right now, but there is a little bit of stuff inside of it. Let's see what we got. Some random shimoli, just some like DMX cables. Um, this is like a wireless DMX transmitter that has some handy features. For example, three pin in and five pin out, which is kind of handy. Um, it's actually used for like a very specific American DJ fixture, but just that alone is kind of useful sometimes. Um, that three pin to five pin. And I do have some random adapters. Here's a little DMX, this is ethernet or USB dongle that I can use for my lighting software. Yeah, I'm just having a few three pin to five pin turnarounds is important. But yeah, oh look at that, more e-tape. What the hell is that? Oh my God, it's a receipt. Okay, one other thing that I bring, which is kind of a little bit ridiculous, is a DJ laptop. I don't bring a controller. Um, you know, this is just like, you know, DJ with your mouse pad, essentially. But I bring a hard drive with, how many terabytes? Is it two terabytes? It's like 80,000 songs. And just having like a nice selection of music at your gigs is such a big deal to me. And a lot of, a lot of my clients, you know, they're gonna show up and like, we don't have a jazz playlist for dinner. Um, there is like a little USB audio interface that I bought 10 years ago that I'm still using by art. And that's just to cue a song so I can hear what's coming up next. And I'm telling you like being able to kind of DJ on the spot, um, super, super, Handy. There's a pair of headphones to hear stuff. And I use the laptop sound card. You know, it's nothing special. A little extra mic. But yeah, this is what I would bring to, you know, an audio gig where potentially I know I need to provide music. If I'm doing like a little club gig, maybe I'll just use my cell phone and some playback. But yeah, so we got audio, we got a little bit of a lighting setup, and this is kind of a general tools of the trade that are just super useful to have in all kinds of weird situations. So yeah, thanks for sticking around for the video. Oh, and um, if you're ever doing DJs, holy crap, you you just, you gotta, you need these. Like get, yeah, get a get a couple of those. Oh, let me just go through all my, my turnarounds and my, my, my whys and yeah, there's some other, there's some other goofy things in there. But yeah, you get the idea. Like everyone has those in their bag. But yeah, if you're doing DJs, oh my God, bring those. Holy crap. Thank me later. And, and your earplugs, remember? Yeah. Yeah, have these for DJs. All right, peace.